Russian first deputy permanent representative to the United Nations Dmitry Polyansky dismissed reports about an attack on a hospital in Mariupol as fake news. Earlier, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres condemned in his Twitter an attack on a hospital in Mariupol, Ukraine, where maternity and children's wards are located as horrific, noting that civilians are paying the highest price for a war that has nothing to do with them. Polyansky wrote on Twitter in response to Guterres' statement, "That's how fake news is born." We warn in a statement back on 7th March that this hospital has been turned into a military object by radicals. We are disturbing that UN spreads this information without verification. Russia started a special military operation in Ukraine on February 24th in response to calls from the Donetsk and Luhansk People's Republics for protection against intensifying attack by Ukrainian troops. The Russian Defense Ministry said the special operation is targeting Ukrainian military infrastructure only and the civilian population is not in danger. Moscow has repeatedly said that it has no plan to occupy Ukraine. Western nations have imposed numerous sanctions on Russia. At least 17 people were injured in an air strike at a pediatric and maternity hospital in the Ukrainian port of Mariupol as part of Russia's military operations, stated news reports earlier the day. According to United Nations, at least 1,335 civilians have been confirmed injured or killed, and 474 killed and 861 injured. Videos posted by the regional chief and the city authority showed the evacuation of the hospital. Meanwhile, the North Atlantic Treaty Organization has sent F-35B Lightning aircraft to Amari Air Base in Estonia to provide air policing of NATO airspace. Today is the day that defines everything. It defines who is on which side. Russian bombs fell on a children's hospital and maternity hospital in Mariupol. As of now, 17 people are injured. Rescuers are still going through the debris. The Ukrainian media outlet said, quoting Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, "News Desk, Amudi Global."